All right, looks like we're all set up and I think everything is good. So you guys can hear me too. So I uh, wanted to jump in today and first of all, thank you uh, to everyone who has helped uh, get our message of hope out over the last week. We've had a lot of great response coming up and for uh, just sharing that post last week and and uh, giving yourself a chance to win that $100 too. So um, a lot of great conversations come from that. A lot of new friends, a couple follow-ups coming up uh, here soon. Been able to get on the phone and help some people break through some things. And that's what, that's what we're here to do. So thank you again for all of that support and encouragement and best foot forward. That's, that's our mission, right? Help people break through and see that there's a, there's more, there's a different way to approach uh, your loved one's addiction. So anyway, thanks again. Today, what I wanted to touch on was, is it time to accept what they've been telling you? Listen, when I was in addiction, I said mean and horrible and nasty things that uh, for me were meant to push people away. I told Shay all sorts of things that I didn't really, I believed him at the time, but me underneath the addiction knew that's not what, what I wanted or, or who I was. And so I get it uh, that your loved ones are coming back with, with all sorts of stuff, right? And what, I, what I've been thinking about uh, and wanted to share with you today that is that acceptance is not the same thing as giving up. It is not the same thing as giving up. Acceptance is actually the first step in creating change. We've got to accept what's here in front of us and, and accepting what they've said, not as who they are, but as what their reality is today. Okay. When I said those things, like I said, I believed them at, at some level. The, the addict in me believed that I never wanted to see Shay again, that I, uh, that I never loved her, right? That my life had been miserable. The addict in me wanted to believe those things, and, and I did because I kept numbing me, the real me, right? I forget where I was going exactly, but when we can accept those things as their current reality and not who they are, now we've got an opportunity, an opportunity to connect with them and decide for us. Okay, if that's where you are right now, here's where I'm at and here's where I'm going. So accepting what they're saying is not giving up. It might just be the first step forward. At Best Foot Forward, one of the things that we do is help people do that, work through that process, because it's hard to accept those things. This is the person that you've, you've said I do with. This is the person who you've had children with. This is your son or daughter, and, and there's, there's not anything I can think of that I did that was more hurtful to the people I love the most than some of the things I would say. And I can't imagine, frankly, what that felt like for them. What we learned and what Best Foot Forward teaches is that by accepting that as the addiction, being able to see through that and see beyond that, but also moving forward in your life, that it makes a difference for your addict. So anyway, wanted to share that with you today. Thanks again for sharing. Uh, reach out to us if you wanna if you wanna chat if you got a question any of those things you can message us. Um, we're happy to talk and and help in any way we can. Bestfootforward.com. Reach out, find us. We'll talk to you soon.